Do you want to come say hello in your underwear? It's your girl Jay and today I have decided that we are going to do a weekend reading vlog because I have been very absent from the reading vlog scene since vlogmas because I started school again in January and it has been a very busy six weeks but I am heading into my reading week this upcoming week so I finally get to like take a breather chill my schooling if you don't know i went back to school for ece early childhood education so basically becoming like a preschool teacher kind of thing or like daycare i can either work in a kindergarten classroom or i can work with like infants and toddlers in a daycare currently i am sitting at a 99.6 percent average because for the past 10 assignments that i've handed in i've gotten 100 percent on which is like pretty cool then my 11th assignment i had a 14.5 out of 15 on a test so that kind of <laughs> sucks that it uh, is not 100% but 99.6 is pretty good if you ask me it is currently Friday February 12th and it is 12 o'clock I just finished my class for the day and now it is officially reading week I had work this morning at 7 to 9 I work in a before and after school program so I still have to go back at 3 but we've been off for the past month because schools have been closed but we just opened it back up on monday so we're back into the work grind as well work in college is a lot <laughs> um i didn't really expect it to be as much work as it has been and it's literally been like a week of me actually doing it so i'm kind of happy though because our like really crazy week of assignments was last week where we had like eight assignments due within the one week and then this week has been like pretty chill like we haven't had anything to do it's just been readings which isn't that bad so it was kind of nice to be going into my first week back at work in like a pretty down week and now it's reading week so again a down week which is nice but i figured i would tell you guys what i'm reading for the weekend i started these violent delights by chloe gong last night and i am 240 pages in this is a romeo and juliet retelling set in like 1920s shanghai and it is really good like i didn't really think that i was gonna like it as much as i am right now i kind of went into it pretty blind like the only thing that i did know was that it was a romeo and juliet retelling i didn't know that it was like a contagion kind of story because like i didn't read the synopsis it's really good so so my goal is to finish it this weekend since, like I said, reading week, don't have to do any assignments. I do have one assignment to do, but I'm not going to start it until like Monday probably, but it's a partner thing. So it's pretty much whenever my partner decides that she wants to start it is when we're going to do it. But yeah, that's the plan. Read this. I'm going back to work at three o'clock. It's currently like really snowy outside. I'll show you. So this is currently outside. It's snowing. I don't know if you can like really see how much snow there is. It's not really that bad, but we have a warning for like a snow qual, I think it's called. That's supposed to be happening. It's negative 17 degrees Celsius outside right now which i don't even know what that is in fahrenheit because i don't do math but the point is it's really cold like we're not allowed to take the kids outside if it's negative 15 or lower so i'm hoping that it stays negative 17 or colder because i don't want to go outside especially if it's like negative 14 we still have to take them outside which makes no sense to me but whatever so but yeah the plans are just to read until work and then i will update you guys when i get home from work to see how far i've gotten on this so cool hello it is now saturday the next day february 13th and you guys are like kind of like bouncing see I got a new like phone holder thing for my bookshelf because I had originally just put you guys up on this mug and that's how I would film from this angle because we on a budget. And then we went on Wish and found a phone holder thing that attaches to my bookshelf so it's a better angle you know so you're not like looking up my nose so i woke up at like 9 30 9 45 and i apparently slept for 11 hours so apparently i really needed that sleep this is like the first day where i actually get to sleep in because i've been getting up for work at 6 
o'clock every day. So apparently I was tired, but after I woke up, I watched a movie with my dad, which was actually not that bad. It was called Black Box. It was like a psychological thriller that was on like Amazon. He like apparently was looking through the list and saw it and was like, ooh, Jay would like that. So we watched it together. It was a good time. And then it's like one o'clock now. I took a shower earlier and then I did my like dailies in Animal Crossing because you got to do that every day. That's why they're called dailies. And then I read a little bit more of these Violet Delights. I'm on page 416 now, so I'm pretty much done with it. It's really, really good. Like, I'm really liking it. I think I'm probably going to give it like a 4.5 out of 5 unless something like big happens at the end to bump it up to a 5. The book is like super overhyped right now on booktube. Like, literally everybody's reading it, but I do think that it is worth the hype because it's actually really good. I think that it would make a really good movie. The way that things are like described in this and like the way that they could like CGI certain things would be really cool in a movie format so I think that people should get on this. So pretty much the plans for today is finish this, waiting for my hair to dry so that I can go film some videos and then I need to go for a run which is the clips that you guys saw yesterday I've been running after work because now that I'm back at work I can't run in the morning like I have been so I've been running at like eight o'clock at night but I don't want to like run at eight o'clock and then run again on Saturday in the morning because like back-to-back -back runs are not fun so I'm waiting till after dinner so that will have to be done but not until like a lot later so I'm gonna finish this and then I think I'm going to read the project it's like the next one on my list and the audiobook just came on in my overdrive so I think that's the plan and this is like a cult book which you know your girl loves herself some cult vibes so I'm pretty excited about this one I think it's gonna be really good I've heard really good things about it so yeah we're gonna go read wait for the hair to dry film some videos it's gonna be a pretty chill day it's now 5 20 and I've spent the entire time just reading the project. I did film a haul video because I had a couple of books from like publishers that were sitting on my floor so I did do that but I did not film anything else even though I was supposed to but I just didn't feel like it so I didn't do it. But like I said I've been reading the project. I'm on page 138. It's okay like I expected to like it a lot more than I am right now. It's kind of slow and I guess I just thought that it would be more interesting. There was like a big reveal that just happened that I'm hoping is going to make it a little bit more interesting but I'm kind of annoyed with my copy of it. It is an arc so it's like understandable but every like 20 or 40 pages it has these like lines in it that makes it like super hard to read but luckily I'm listening to it on audiobook so it's not really that big of a deal because it doesn't really affect me if I was just reading physically it'd be really annoying. I do like to like skim the book as I'm listening just so like I don't skip anything so it is a little bit annoying but that's okay. I don't really feel like reading anymore but also I have literally nothing else to do because I don't have any schoolwork because none of my professors are putting up modules or anything because it's supposed to be our reading week and my partner who I'm supposed to do my project with is in Muskoka right now so I can't do our project. I do need to write like seven reviews because I've read quite a few books this month and haven't written any of the reviews for them. I think I've written like two out of the eight books I've read. So like I could do that, but I also don't want to. Like I just don't feel like doing anything, which I don't want to just lie in bed and do nothing as well. So I'm going to catch 22. I don't know what to do with my life, which really means I'll probably just end up reading some more, but I don't know. I just have a boring life right now. Where I live is also still technically in lockdown, so it's like, can't go anywhere. Not that I would go anywhere anyways, because even if we weren't in lockdown, I don't trust people. So there's like no nothing to do, nowhere to go, and I'm just bored. I think because I've had so much schoolwork, I've kind of been distracted with not realizing how little I have to do. So I don't know, now that I don't have schoolwork, it's kind of depressing, so I'm kind of in a bleh mood. <sighs> oh well. Back to reading, I suppose. Hello. It's now 
Sunday, February 14th, it's Valentine's Day, and I don't have a Valentine. Well, I do technically, like, Will's my Valentine, but he can't come over here, I can't go over there, so... I technically have a Valentine, but I don't really have a Valentine because I don't get to see him. But my friend Abby did do a door Valentine drop-off kind of thing, and she gave me this little goodie bag. So that was really cute, and it has some chocolate, and there's like these scrapey heart things that you like scratch, and then they'll be rainbow, so I can make Valentines. And also a card that says, for my sweet babu, because that's what she calls me. And and it says, be my valentine or I will artichoke you to death. Happy Valentine's Day to Jay. And then from Abby, but she crossed it off and said, always love. So my little baby, we've been like best friends since we were, I think like seven. It's been like 18 years or something ridiculous like that. So I love her very much. And she's a little sweetheart and she's into all that lovey-dovey gushy stuff, which I'm not. <laughs> so like literally any boyfriend I've ever had can attest to that. I would rather just make fun of you than be lovey-dovey and cute. So it's probably why none of my relationships work out. <laughs> But reading wise, last night I finished The Project by Courtney Summers and I only am giving it a three stars, which is disappointing to me because honestly, I really did think that it was going to be like a four or five star book for me because it's like about cults, but it was boring and I just did not care about anything that was happening. It was super slow. So I don't know, maybe if there was more like action, which is a cult book, there's not going to be a lot of action, but I don't know. I was not the biggest fan of this one, so three out of five stars, which is disappointing. But then I also started Soundless by Rochelle Mead, which is on my TBR that my mom picked, and it's like all to do with music, her TBR, not this book. But I am 60 pages in, and this book I was kind of like not that excited to pick up because when it first came out, a lot of people were giving it like not very good reviews, like I think like two stars was the average for this book. And honestly, I can see why, like 60 pages in and nothing has freaking happened yet. So I'm hoping that some action happens. They're talking about going on like a cliffside kind of adventure thing, but there's avalanches or something. Honestly, I don't even know because I have not been very invested in this book because like I said, it's boring. So plan for today. We're waiting for the hair to dry so that we can film because yesterday I said I was going to do that and then did not do that. So today is the day that it's going to happen. It's still very wet so we got a little bit of time so we're gonna read this until further notice film some videos and then wallow in self-pity that i don't get to see my valentine today so yep it's gonna be a sad day remember how i was complaining i don't get to see my valentine surprise <laughs> he showed up and he brought me candy and we're breaking all the rules Shh. but technically we're only breaking your mom's rules my so... mom watches your videos you know no she doesn't well, we'll block Ooh, her from well. your channel. She doesn't watch my videos. She just likes all my tweets. Thanks, yeah, but you Leanne. tweet about your videos. Yeah. Hello. But she knows you're here. This Hello. is true. This is true. <laughs> she was nice, and she said that he could come see me for Valentine's Day. So he brought me all my favorite candy, and I cried. <laughs> yes, well, you cried because I was here, not because of the candy. Yeah, that's true. Not because of the candy. Fucking bitch. I was excited. Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm excited. You're I know. basically a puppy. You're all, hey, you're always saying, oh, I'm not the lovey-dovey type. I knock on her door and she sees me and she runs down the stairs bawling her eyes out. Like, okay, because I'm not supposed to see him until like April, May. So in my head. What are you talking about? Realistically, they said next spring. So in my head, I didn't get to see him until April, May. So I was excited. So, yeah. So now we're gonna go do nothing together and it's gonna be wonderful. Yes. A workout. Will's gonna do his first workout for. 2021. Uh, when was the last time you worked out? When you were 12? 2019. There's no way you worked out in 2019. Yes, I work out at least three times a year with Mike. <laughs> three times a year? <laughs> hey, how do you think you maintain this physique? Spherical physique. <laughs> what is on my swing? The egg. My hair? You. Well, it's... You're everywhere. You're still in my car. You know what? Because we're not going to see each other for so long, I just want you to have a piece so of just me. Put... No, run. <laughs> run. Freaking earthquake. 
Ooh. You ready? Uh. <laughs> you're, doing, uh. you're doing amazing, sweetie. You want to put up the speed a little bit? Nope. What's it at? 0.5? Yep, I'm exercising. She's not doing very well. 3.8. I'm not very bad. See, it's not. See, I'm not the only one who falls over. <laughs> and then I guess I should put the... And then when... Because that's going to save you? What's that going to do for you? Ooh, that's yeah. kind of abrupt. <laughs> okay, Will's gone now, so I'm very sad. But I figured I would share what he got in my box for Valentine's Day. So he got me Sour Patch Watermelon. They are the best sour candy, and I will not be taking questions at this time. He also got Sour Cherry Blasters. When we went to the same middle school, there was a teacher who always handed out Sour Cherry Blasters as like a reward system for his class. So he was like, do you remember? So it was like cute, you know, so adorable. And then of course the staple, Caramel M&M's, my favorite candy in the entire world. Technically, he got me three of these, but there were only two in the box because he ate one <laughs> and then he ate the other one when he was here. So I got one cream egg and then these milk chocolate hearts because, you know, Valentine's Day. They're also caramel filled because I love caramel so much. And then the final thing he got to replace the cream egg that he ate <laughs> was a Easter bunny solid milk chocolate i swear this thing is like five pounds like it is solid i could knock someone out with this it was a really nice surprise because i did not expect to see him because like i said i'm not supposed to see him until like april or may because he lives with his grandparents and they're high risk for the coronavirus and i work at a school so you know it's not exactly the safest thing for me to go and see them all the time and so we've been being physically distanced and not seeing each other at all so he decided that he would surprise me which like <laughs> I'm so happy I literally burst into tears he also got me these like cookies that he gave me last weekend because that was the week before I went back to work so we decided that since I had not been in work for the past two months that I would see him then because we knew that we weren't going to see each other so he got me these like avocado cookies because we always go like tanks and avocado and then he also gave me a $100 gift card to indigo so he is just like the sweetest little baby and I got him nothing because I didn't think I was gonna see him so bad girlfriend points but I'll make him cookies or something when I get to actually see him again. Who knows when that is, but I'm so happy now. I do really need to film and I guess it's a good time now because I'm in a good mood. So that'll hopefully, you know, resonate on film instead of me being a miserable fuck. Like I usually am on film, so <laughs> I'm gonna go film some videos. Hopefully I can think of a topic to film, but I'm so happy.